While battling Russian forces in Ukraine, a former U.S. Army soldier was killed by a mortar blast. Last week, Jeffrey Judd Jones, 48, passed away in Bakhmut, an area of eastern Ukraine that is primarily populated by Russians, according to a touching Facebook post by his father Howard Jones. The distraught father of Bo Doinham, Maine, had earlier that day received a text message from his son informing him that they were unable to sleep because other troops were too afraid. We were meant to take a couple of days off, but another firm is too terrified to travel, so we're taking their place tonight. According to Howard, the text claimed that it will be another three to five days. Later, on August 4, Howard received a call from the U.S. Embassy in Kiev informing him that Jeff was reportedly dead. Howard received email confirmation within 24 hours. Please accept our sincere sympathies for the passing of Jeffrey Judd Jones on behalf of the U.S. government and the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, it said. Jeffrey was killed in action on July 2031 during conflict in Ukraine when a mortar round exploded. We have received formal notice from the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, and we will update this post with further information as it becomes available. According to Howard, his son went away supporting the cause he deeply believed in. I have a suspicion that Jeff's squad not only agreed to carry out a mission that other squads were too afraid to undertake, but that Jeff's squad also led the squad that was taking the greatest risk. Because of Jeff's sacrifice, others have lived. Godspeed to Jeff. Peace be upon him. All of us will miss him. Last year, Jeff visited Europe to aid Ukraine in its conflict with Russia. Howard started a fundraising campaign in March 2022 for his son's journey to Poland and Ukraine to aid refugees while serving on a fire team that defended doctors and the injured from enemy fire during rescue. Jeff worries about the safety of the Ukrainian soldiers he has trained and is proud of them. He wrote that some have already been lost but he doesn't know which ones. I admire him and worry about his well-being. Pray that he is safe and that this conflict will cease. Jeff was just thinking about joining the Foreign Legion for territorial defense at that time. Support was requested on the fundraising page for things like food, supplies, rent, transportation, and mobile credit. Jeff served in a medic group that was commended for removing roughly 50 troops throughout his 10 weeks while volunteering abroad. Before returning to Ukraine this year in May, he first flew back to Perry, Georgia. Jeff frequently posted updates to his Facebook profile with images of himself brandishing various outfits and weapons. In one post, he stated, Ukraine will reclaim its nation and its freedom, and I will be there to assist. He acknowledged that some individuals were concerned about him and also made a request for assistance. I am aware that the majority of my relatives and friends do not want me to return, the guy admitted. Even though they do not get my need to return, I understand their anxieties. The album The Furry Ukrainians on Jeff's social media channels contains a number of images of troops with pets.
He will be remembered for his sacrifice, Howard remarked while praising his son's efforts. According to Howard, Jeff was very protective of the foreign fighters in his group, especially the young, inexperienced fighters. Jeff's family and friends are grateful for his sacrifices and services to the Ukrainian people. This month, his corpse will be brought back to Bangor.